the true visage of Dossi Shashkin. Well, hi, I'm the Space Quest historian, and welcome to the 11th hour, the sequel to the seventh guest. I am joined today by my co-hosts from the Backseat Designers podcast. That would be That's Mr. One of them. Well, that would be Mr. Frederick Olsen. Hello. <laughs> and my lovely bearded companion, Gareth Millwood. Hello. And uh, we are not playing the 11th hour. However, I am going to show you a bit of the gameplay just to show you what an abysmal fucking game this is. Uh, have, you, have any of you guys ever played The Seventh Guest? No, I haven't ever played The Seventh Guest. Oh, well, have, have you, Fred? Uh, no, actually, I've never played any of them. Okay, well, that's uh, interesting. Well, um, just to briefly recap, The Seventh Guest is a gothic horror mansion puzzle game with a couple of ghosts running around it. And it's the sort of usual logic puzzle bullshit. You've got a chessboard full of bishops and they have to change places, the blacks and the whites, and it takes an awful lot of moves and all that bullshit. It's not an adventure game, it's a puzzle game. Um, okay. The Eleventh Hour ups this by what we're uh, observing right now. What just happened was we were asking the hint system what the fuck is going on? See, when you enter the house now, uh, this, by the way, takes place in contemporary time. That would be the mid-90s when this game was made. Um, it looks like the mid-90s as well. Yeah. Yeah. They, they basically took the old uh, uh, Victorian mansion and sort of dirtied it up. And... Yeah, she's 90s hot. Oh, there's a... <laughs> hot. She's 90s hot. Yeah, and the woman in the foreground is 90s <laughs> hot. <laughs> And that robot hand is very 90s. Uh, don't worry, we'll, we'll, we'll get to the movie in, in just a tick. Um, this game up the ante by presenting you with an anagram. Here, here comes another. It gives you these sort of weird fetch questy things. And it gives you these very cryptic hints. Rolling rock bottle cap. Now I'm asking the hint system again. Yeah, that's very helpful, my dear. Is the player character in fact aware that he's or his or her skin has fallen off of their hand? That was not the player character. <laughs> well, the um, yeah, I think the the cursor is like a skeleton for some reason. Oh, oh, you mean that one? I thought you meant the one in the uh, video. Because it's uh, creepy. It's a suggestive skeletal hand. <laughs> yeah, and it keeps sort of doing the come hither thing when you want to move yeah, to a different yeah. room. That's yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's that's <laughs> all kinds of wrong. This would not fly today. <laughs> no. Well, it's actually it's the same cursor they used in the seventh guest. Um, so, if you're not aware, the uh, story of the seventh guest was that the toy maker stuff built a giant house and then trapped the souls of okay. children through his dolls, as you uh, do. As you do, you know. <laughs> but but that was that was back in the 1920s, and this is of course 1994, five ish, um, okay. and the house is dilapidated, but probably still haunted. We'll find out more about that when we watch the video. Now I've actually found the thing that we're supposed to find. It's a champagne cork. The whole hint was... Ah, it's the... the French champagne, indeed. And I can't pick it up because I'm supposed to solve a, a puzzle first. Yeah, the, skill, the, the hand is also wickling its finger going... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, uh, I can't do that yet. <laughs> so anyway... You bitch. So that's the game. You run a, a, a wound. <laughs> you run around solving these ridiculous uh, fetch quests, or these scavenger hunt things. There are multiple objects to find in the game. Uh, you click on them and that somehow unlocks doors and unlocks more logic puzzles. I think I'm about to go downstairs and show you one of the logic puzzles and you can see what kind of bullshit we're dealing with here. Why am I going over here again? I have no idea. Did you record this gameplay video when you were drunk? <laughs> I might have just been pissing around in a circle not knowing what I was doing. Yeah, that's all so long. Don't worry, I'll, I'll edit this into a more concise thing. <laughs> yes, but you can't edit real life and I'm still having to sit through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do? I think it, I think this is the point where I, I decide to actually check out one of the puzzles. Yeah, here we go. Okay. This, this puzzle involves... You got this... Knights. Massacred chess set uh, with uh, only knights on it, and the knights have to change places. Okay. And, and they can only do knight moves and blah, blah, blah. 
Oh, oh dear fucking god. And this... Night Moves, that also sounds like a 90s pop song. <laughs> Night Moves, cha-cha-cha. Wait, you don't do yep. the cha-cha in 80s music, <laughs> 90s music. Um, no, in the 90s we did Mambo number 5. Yes, and Cotton Eye Joe was watching off to the side going, Hey, you're a pretty fella. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Uh, shit. But anyway, these these are the bread and butter of the seventh cast in the eleventh hour. These stupid logic puzzles. Okay. Uh, just add stupid scavenger hunts to this, and also the infuriating fact that, as opposed to the seventh guest, which was stupid but at least fair, the the eleventh hour will sometimes start puzzles in unsolvable states. Oh. It will start puzzles in unsolvable states. Yes, and it won't tell you that it's unsolvable. It's just a dick Jesus like that. Jesus Christ. Hmm. So anyway, you get the idea, right? Okay. All right, so before we start the movie, I just want to briefly talk about what happens if you buy the game today. This is the original CD-ROM version of the game. I uh, ripped this uh, from my original CD-ROMs and played it. Look at the option screen. Look at all the options you get. You can turn interlaced video on and off. You know, you know the black... What uh, the fuck is hardware ball. page flipping? I have no idea what that does. Apparently on old SVGA cards that did something. I'm I a software developer and I don't know it. Anyway, the GOG version, if you buy this today, this is the only version you can buy legally. Have a look at the setup. No! <laughs> there is a lot less there. Yeah. And you can't turn off the interlaced video. It is always on. You can't get rid of it. Can you turn off Les Claypool or whoever it is in the background? Absolutely not. Okay, so... so what are we looking at? Well... What we're looking at right now is the full 60-minute movie of the 11th hour. Uh, the game came on four CDs, and the story was told piecemeal in these FMV sequences as you solved puzzles, as we just saw. But at the end of each disc, you got to see, you know, one of four parts of the story. And when, when put together, they form a 60-minute continuous movie. And uh, when you finish the game, you get to watch the entire thing uh, back to back. So that's what we're doing now. I have unhelpfully uh, subtitled this, but the, uh, uh, with the, the version without our commentary will be up for uh, uh, viewing as well. Okay. So this is the plot dump by very 90s newsreader. Mm. Very 90s. <laughs> This is our hero. He's the hero. Yeah, okay. he's the uh, plucky '90s hair. That's also him. It wasn't a particularly heroic shot. Not really, no. Ah, '90s doorbells. And he just—he looks like he just stepped out of a fucking Someone just actor headshot. The doorbell and drove off. Yes. Well, the, back. Well, the. People are watching a video, Fred. They know what's happening. <laughs> what? What? what it was. It was, and also in his van. What I'm getting from this guy is that they couldn't afford Michael Bolton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is. I mean, he he looks like he stepped out of his own headshot. He's got the gel in the hair, and Carl, help me, please. I can't get out. A magic pocketbook to an alternate dimension, or something. Someone just dropped a PDA on his doorstep. Those things were expensive during the 90s. They were like, yeah. they were things we spoke of because no one really afforded to have one. Hmm. It is those big sort of uh, circular battery things in them as well. Yeah. <laughs> that would last about two weeks. It is supposed to be the game book, uh, which, is all, which also serves as the main menu. What you... Maybe didn't notice the first time around when we showed you the gameplay footage is that the the interface in the main menu and the thing he's holding right now look nothing alike. Absolutely, okay. but it's supposed to be the same thing. And right. this is how I operate my PDA. I'm gonna hit the space bar <laughs> yeah. a million times. Button meshing. <laughs> okay. So apparently, it's just a direct video link to his. Uh, you got the wrong number. You're looking for Obi Wan Kenobi there. <laughs> So, of course, he decides to go someplace. Of course he has a motorcycle. Yes. Yeah. And you just know this belongs to the director or one of the producers, right? <laughs> the video encoding has not made that heat haze look good. No. 
it didn't look good back in the day, and it certainly doesn't look good now. Actually, I've got an interesting story here while he's riding it his looks motorcycle. Like it was just a <laughs> Basically, they thought they could just reuse the video rendering engine from the uh, seventh guest, which was all static camera and shit. Hmm. Oh, sorry, plot dump. Oh. How long do you think it took her to make to do that hair? Uh, I have the same rule. Been thinking about breaking this rule. So am I. <sighs> Smooth. Yeah. Anyway, um, the director then goes off and shoots the video, not knowing that he's. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it's the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Jesus. This looks like something out of a bad Mad Max movie. <laughs> Anyway, the director, uh, obviously, um, I have more stories about him and why there's a softcore porn scene in here as well. But anyway, he goes off shooting. Yeah. He shoots the video, not knowing he's not supposed to move the camera because that causes encoding issues. Hello, boobs. And comes back, shows them this finished footage, and and they go, oh my god, we have to rewrite the entire video rendering engine. You utter asshole. I just want to interject and say that uh, while I didn't have any personal experience uh, in that way because I was too young, this is probably what having sex in the 90s was like. You know, <laughs> everything slowed to a halt and you had the music and... Yeah. I, just can't I think you like him. <laughs> yeah. People, everyone's saying that I slept with you. Amazing acting going on here. Mm -hmm. Wait, isn't that how you get forward in the industry? It was in the 90s, to be sure. I mean, they've made some very interesting aesthetic choices here. <laughs> I think that's a diplomatic way to put it. Yeah, could you could you elaborate on that, Gareth? Well, they, these people, they've clearly hired people that are supposed to be sort of that kind of comic book kind of... It's supposed to be aspirational in some way. <laughs> yeah. And yet, I don't know. <laughs> I, the, it's very difficult to to say what I want to say without body shaming a lot of people. <laughs> That's body, okay. Body shame. These it's like thirty years ago. <laughs> I mean, uh, the hairstylist. Uh, How the ha long has he been? Did he? I'm confused already. Did he stop to have a talk with that woman, or has oh, he no, been driving with his hunchback <laughs> for no, that's the a while? Different guy. No, no, it's the same guy. Those, those were flashbacks. That's not very clear. Uh, oh. Those were flashbacks. See, his 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 girlfriend slash producer is missing. That's the girl who phoned him up on his PDA of Doom, and right. and his sunglasses just came off. Yeah, yeah, that too. And his hair just went down. Uh, yeah. And oh, he was riding around without a helmet. Did you see that? Anyway, uh, she is. She, she said she was going to the old haunted staff mansion in Harley on Hudson, and she's since disappeared. Now she's phoning him up on the PDA, so he decides to go to the staff mansion that himself. That shot is expertly lighted. <laughs> yeah, again with this encoding, you can't get away with that shot. <laughs> I will say the encoding has been badly degraded because we're watching a YouTube version of it. Um, uh, oh, okay. that'll be why. Uh, right. I, I, I will say the original is not much better. Uh, the original, again, you can see the original on the YouTube channel as well. Uh, but hopefully, some of it is still. What what is what is the other word for legible when you have moving pictures? Never mind. Doesn't matter. Anyway, this is the staff mansion where his girlfriend is supposedly missing. Why he didn't phone the police or anything is really beyond me. Because he's a renegade. Yeah, he's got a leather jacket and shit. <laughs> But he's unable to open a door. But he brought the PDA of Doom. And yeah, so the PDA is going to help him. Did and he bring the charger? No. No, he did not. This, by the way, is what passes for tutorial in this game. The blind man is a good friend. What? Knock the door three times. Yeah, that's the hint. And, and that's the only explanation the game gives for its ludicrous uh, scavenger hunt puzzles. What? Yeah. Did Roberta Williams watch this? <laughs> I hope not. Also, those knocks were not synchronized to no, the they soundtrack. Were not, were they? <laughs> no, that's not me fucking up. That's how it is in the game. And he brought the smallest flashlight ever. This is <laughs> this is the sort of flashlight you look for. Uh, you know, you look for spiders under your desk with, and <laughs> and you saw the size of the flashlight in game, right? But they yeah. play bitching music in there. Yeah. Um, there's a little rule with this movie. I should probably have told you this right off the bat. Anything that happens outside the mansion is technically a flashback from now on. Uh, okay. Right. 
Right, and it, and everything that happens in the house is happening in current time. Okay. Okay. The the video does not explain this either. They actually had to put that in the manual, believe it or not. I cannot see why. <laughs> she looks a bit like the restless, sensational sherry there. <laughs> that is not a place I want to be eating the breakfast special at. <laughs> We're all going to stare at you intently while you do so. Hmm. I'm looking for Dracula's castle. <laughs> for the longest time I was Stray wondering... Eggs. Yeah, I was wondering what that actually said if it said stray eggs, but it says steak <laughs> eggs. <laughs> oh, by the way, she's a big city producer, so we're not going to spend 15 minutes talking about things you can't buy in roadside diners in small towns. This looks like the porn version of Twin Peaks. <laughs> That's his only line in the entire movie. Yeah, bottled bottled water and oat muffins were a luxury in the 90s. <laughs> yeah. We truly don't know how good we had it. Exactly. She said sternly. We're not coffee here, hon. This scene is not over yet, by the way. It still has a while to go. <laughs> Be right back. Now it's over. That was oh, that was shoulder. Now we we do realize that there are 650 megabytes available on a CD-ROM, and they also had to fit a game in there somewhere. So spending that amount of time arguing about Peregrino water okay. is just fucking stupid. Uh -huh. oh, I like him. Wouldn't mind serving him up a couple of specials. Rowdy. So not a great chocolate donut. What's he like? <laughs> well. Uh, because she was such a bitch, maybe they coated it with Slim's like droppings. Or a man like you can't live without him. He's both. Aren't they all? <laughs> that old guy in the background knows what's happening, and he's so having this is none already of it. failing the Betchdel test, then. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it is. And now we're getting straight into plot dump territory. You're the only person who survived an encounter with the mansion. Who told you that? Everyone else is either disappeared. I like how they just say encounter, as if no one knows what the fuck went on in there. Paper said a guard dog tore your hand off. And now, more exposition. Yes. Well, we only have 60 minutes to go, or, or for the entire movie, so we'd better get straight to the point. The Pellegrino scene is over, it's all plot from now on. I'll be right back with that coffee. Hey, I found some Perrier back here if you're still interested, miss. <laughs> I just urinated in a bottle and stuck it on a seltzer. Oh, so the sunglasses came. People, people were very hot for sunglasses in the '90s, weren't they? Oh, they were hot on not wearing bras as well. So we can we can tell the difference between them. You've got the blonde one, the brown one, and the uh, red one. The red one. It's supposed to be red, and that's Dan Castellaneta. It's it's not actually, but <laughs> might as well could be. <laughs> Chevy Trace struggled to get work in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Is he in He's got a meeting in five minutes. He hasn't got time for you today, Maria. Just tell me. That deer is ruining the two shot. <laughs> Photo bomb. But you got a meeting at eight. Also, question. Um, or actually, a, 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 a little story. Um, the seventh guest was it was a ghost story and it was sort of mildly spooky and all that, but it was a right. family game. People, you know, family could play it. Um, with this game, the the writer of the original seventh guest, Matthew Costello, wrote a script, then had it hijacked by the director of the movie here, David Wheeler, who decided to throw out all the interesting bits and just add softcore porn instead. Okay. Uh, and much to the chagrin of the original author, who has since dis disowned this product entirely, um, Graeme Devon, or Devine, the uh, other co-founder of Trilobite, also said, this is a Wait bunch a of bullshit. That guy looks like a cross between uh, Johnny Depp and Jacob Janurka. <laughs> <laughs> it could be Jake. Could. Didn't he have a meeting in five minutes? Well, anyway, this is Chuck. That's Marie. You can have a quickie in five minutes. You could, but how are you going to get to the meeting? Is he going to teleport? Also, that's it's not... You know, you don't want to go in smelling like that into a meeting. Well, no, that's true. 
Maybe, maybe it seals deals in the 90s. Oh, you stud. Hmm. where it doesn't show. Ah, she almost headbutted him. Did you see that? Yeah. Time's up, Chuck. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was made before hashtags. That, that's back when we called it the pound sign. Oh, everyone's else been there, so. Yeah. We called it a hash, but then we have a different pound sign, so. Oh, yeah, that's right. Britain. Yay! This is America, where they have redheads that don't wear bras and people who just stepped out of some Sears catalog or something. That dude. Actually, he looks a bit like Francisco as well. <laughs> He's every. He looks like Francisco's. <laughs> that's Francisco Gonzalez. She has evil teeth. Don't we all? Yeah. Now this. I mean, it looks terrible here. It also. Honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> hey, look at those gams. I mean, this is very leery. One thing you should never do with video encoding is shoot anything that moves a lot. And the director just decided to haul his camera through the through the grass. Yeah. I was just. <laughs> Dear God, you're tall. I am not, in fact, wearing a toupee. <laughs> Stop looking at my hair. He looks like he's about they to fall asleep. They have nearly the same hair. They do. That's 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 the same damn raccoon. <laughs> I mean, I know I know that it's been flattened again because of the encoding, but it just does not look good. <laughs> I mean, it does. Oh, what a surprise! And here I was thinking this was excellent entertainment. I mean, the 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 black mullet thing on a police chief. I think that's a bold move and. Uh, and also the ADRing going on on the dialogue, the actors. What year was the game released, Trolls? I think it's ninety five. Ninety five. Yeah. So okay, to be fair, this is still incredibly good technology for nineteen ninety five. It, it, However, yeah. what it has been used for is not good. <laughs> it is correct. It was the first game. Uh, it it ran on DOS. It was the first game to run video off the CD at 30 frames per second. Um, he says that like it's totally normal. What happened to her hand then? Well, it got bit off by a dog. Lots of dogs bite off hands, don't they? Yeah, around these parts they do. Did anyone find the hand? What do you want with a severed hand? You'd have to ask Doc He's the one it was probably a chihuahua. <laughs> Doc's getting up there, but the severed guest. <laughs> Why is the police chief flirting with the big city producer? Everybody's well, flirting with everybody. It's perks. just awful. <laughs> wow, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, my dick is hard. Tromping. I think I got that word. I mean, it. I mean, I, I subtitled this myself. I think he said tromping. I, I think it's correct, but, a, you know, I wouldn't say she was tromping. What the hell? I don't know. This is never explained, by the way. <laughs> Help me, I am an egg. Yes, I am an egg face on the beach, and I just disappeared, and this is never mentioned again. Well, that is not a good predicament to be in. No. Oh. So she's the damsel in distress. Yes. And he is... It's the damsel who's like rescued. No. He is standing against a blue screen. Yes, everything that happens in the house is uh, shot on a blue screen. You don't say... Yeah, and this is a penis monster. Green screen at this point. <laughs> what? Also, whoever is piping the video into the PDA of of, uh, of Doom, apparently is editing the video at the same time. Looks like they're left in some of the green screen, unless there's like a fluorescent rock on the floor. Now it's supposed to be the sort of acidy bath kind of thing. Also, that room is not in the game at all. Oh. You never see that again. Well, she is not typing actual words. <laughs> no. Maybe it's a Dwarak keyboard. She just cursed at the keyboard. Just oh damn! I haven't actually turned on my computer. I've been typing all this time. <laughs> I love it when um, it, I mean they are making a computer game, so obviously they must know how computers work. But still, she's just looking at a photo <laughs> and typing away madly. I don't want to say what that looked like she was handling, but why, why it certainly she wasn't a mouse. Was that the end of part one? That was the end of part one. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Cripes. How many discs are there? Four. There's four oh. more of this. So, um, 
Well, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and do whatever you kids do, but do leave us a comment because we really do love the comments and uh, the, the four of us, well, there's only three of us. Well, I say four because there's the three of us and then there's a house. And the four of us will be back next week. Yes, Oi. next week with um, episode two of the 11th hour. Mm, yeah, this I... is the worst thing I've ever done. <laughs> so thank you and uh, I will see you around the Chrono stream.